Good morning and welcome to a new week. We're going thrifting today. <laughs> Straight in there. We're not messing around. I need to go digging. I'm just feeling a deep dive dig of a deal. <laughs> Instead of going to the pre-picked stores, I wanna go find the treasures myself. We're going treasure hunting. We're going thrifting, we're going thrifting. I gotta turn that into a song. Maybe if I do, I'll insert it here. Who's the girl who's gonna get the stuff? She's gonna get the stuff, she's going thrifting. I actually thought about making it like kind of a series on TikTok and Instagram. You guys, I had a thrift video that, I don't know that if you call it going viral, cause viral is like to me millions of views, but it's doing really well on Instagram and I'm giving the people what they want. <laughs> doing whatever you guys want from me. I have a list of things that I want. I am on the hunt for a creepy doll and we'll get into that more. I'm looking for makeup train cases. I want a lot of them because I'm going to do a whole section of train cases. I'll explain more later. I am looking for old magazines so that I can recreate, do my little recreations of vintage magazines. And that's it. I, I a few things that I can maybe pop into Paper Dolls Boutique because I don't want that to just fall to the wayside. So I definitely want to make sure I give Paper Dolls a little love this week. Store's still open, store's still going. It's still a web shop. I still have makeup, skincare, soaps, all that good stuff for sale. It's just not for sale in a physical store anymore. Let's look at this outfit, huh? <sighs> I love this dress so much. I do. This is just the cutest thing. I would much prefer to wear it without leggings, but it's just too cold out. It's like in the 30s, I think. Next week's supposed to get really cold. I'm having a corduroy moment right now where I just want tons of things in the corduroy kind of feel. So whenever I go on a big thrift haul like we're doing today, I like to get rid of stuff that has been stacked up, piled up, and sitting at the house that I don't need anymore. And I also did kind of go through my hoodies because there's so many hoodies that I have that are just too small. And I threw them in there because the rescue mission is currently needing warm clothes and it's about to get really cold. And I feel like that the recycling rotation of thrift requires you know, to not be a hoarder and not have too much crap. This constant flow of it, you know, changeover. So as things come in, I wanna make sure things are going back out too, cause I don't want, I don't need that much stuff. My clothing is really just two, two racks and then a sweater rack. I only have my winter clothes out on two racks, three racks counting my sweaters and all my summer clothes is in another closet, so they'll switch out. So at all times, rotating, I only have two racks, and to me that's not a lot. Anyway, mailman came, so the dogs went crazy. Let's get going. I'm taking my husband's car because my battery is dead. It sat there for two weeks without moving, and that was my bad, and my, my battery died. So uh, we need to jump it, but I'm gonna take my husband's car today and drop all this stuff off. And let's go 15. Who's the girl who's gonna get the stuff? She's gonna get the stuff. She's going thrifting. We're here. Goodwill outlet time. I'm actually really excited. It's been a minute. All right, so we are leaving the Goodwill and I found some stuff. I don't have my normal tripod, so I'm not gonna keep you guys up on the dash for too long, but we are now heading to the rescue mission to drop off a bag of sweaters and cozy pajamas for anybody who needs it. And a uh, spoiler, I scored. Just dropped off the bags at the mission back here. It's next to this amazing church that is obviously maybe condemned or something, but God, is it beautiful. Look at that. I am just, I love old buildings so much, but wow. Anyway, if anybody wants to know, the rescue mission for Tacoma accepts drop-offs back here and it goes to people in need. So, very nice. I found some things. You know, it was weird. I almost left when I found two of the things that I needed because I was like, I don't really need to keep looking. But something in my heart said, just check a bin. And I looked at a few, just kind of grazing the top. And then I found one bin and everything that I found was all from this bin. That and like the one next to it on the edge. So I can't believe that I filled this bag with stuff from one 
bin score. I just kept finding things and finding things. It was piled all the way to the top. It was crazy. Also, can we just talk about these pants that were absolute fire? Okay, I'm kidding. I just was like, there's a joke. There's a joke in here somewhere. Also, there was a very scary, let's just say there was a very scary toy buried in the books. And it really got me. Like I was like, ah, like when I saw it, because I'm like, who, oh my God, somebody, like I, all the true crime that I listened to, I was like, oh my God, somebody buried their evidence in the books at the Goodwill <laughs> outlets. Uh, the thought, all the things racing through my head. And then I just kind of poked it and I realized it was plastic. Uh, anyway, I did find though, and I'm just going to go ahead and get it out of the way. You guys, I've been looking for makeup train cases and I found one. I found one. My eyes lit up. It was the first thing I saw. I skipped right past the clothes, shoes and purses, went straight towards the bins that have this type of stuff in it. And I saw this poking out. I saw the design across the front and knew right away that this was a vintage case. And it has little stars on the top. It is this amber colored plastic, which I'm just so into. I love this color so much. It's so 70s looking. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. it I, at first I was like, is that a tackle box? Because it's plastic. And the train cases that I'm thinking of actually are more pillowed and satin on the inside. So this isn't actually 100% what I'm looking for, but it doesn't matter because I want so many of them that they can look different. They can be in a different variety. Essentially what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to collect a bunch. I want about maybe six and I'm going to put all of my makeup on a shelf inside train cases categorized from palettes to foundations to primers all in these vintage train cases and I want to have them labeled so that I can easily find what I need but I really love the idea of retro decor vintage decor madness up here this is the goal I'm going to switch out all the furniture that to me doesn't read old school and I want to make it look like a retro haven. So it's going to be a makeover. It's going to be time consuming. Every time I go to the thrift stores now, I got to keep an eye out for one of these, but I cannot wait to start putting stuff in it. I might just temporarily use it as like my vanity makeup case and just have all the things that I use on the daily in here. So this will have all of my day to day makeup in it. I need to go give it a good wash. All of this stuff needs a good wash. And then just while we're on the non-clothing subject, I got this. Now, since you pay by the pound, I'll just say every single thing I got was $23 for the whole lot. So just so you know, I got this very old school book. I feel like with the writing on the inside of this book, it looks really 1950s. Ideas for small gardens, compact plants, borders, raised beds, containers, kitchen gardens. Oh my God, this is everything that I need to learn. I'm so excited. I'm actually going to have this downstairs and I think I'm just going to flip through it when I'm sitting, like having my morning coffee. So that is also going to go downstairs. Something randomly that was in the books and I went, oh my God, this thing is really cool. But is it like a wrestling belt? <laughs> I don't know. But how cool is it? This is a huge, like, western almost looking wrestling belt. It's real leather. It's heavy. It's actual, like, real genuine leather. And it has dragons on it. Dragons. I don't want to say it like that. But it's just, how cool is this thing? Okay, I made it a little tight. Is it cool? Do you think I can make it work with, like, a really cool dress? I can turn it. Is that too much or is that is that a look is this a look I feel like if I styled it just right I can really make it work it's got dragons on it it's so cool all right let's dig into the clothing and see what we got you can already see something so let's just start because guess what month it is next month you got it it's February guess what holiday is in February that's right good job it's <laughs> Valentine's Day what better for Valentine's Day than a sweater covered in hearts <laughs> like how did nobody grab this i saw it and i was like mine you know like you know when you're at that goodwill bin picking like mode and people come up and start picking next to you and you're like, <laughs> like get out of my picks 
but uh yeah so I kind of like went like this and I threw it in the cart and I kind of hit it in the bottom of the cart because I didn't any want I didn't want anybody to see it and gank it from my cart it's from a brand called CC it's a size large it's so soft it's so soft and so warm I love this sweater I think this is probably up there with one of my favorite things that I found today I just love it I'm not a big person that like I don't wear a lot of pink but for Valentine's Day heck yeah I do heck yeah heck yeah then this is such a cool shirt one of those shirts that you can tell has been worn and loved and it's so funny because it says love on it but uh yeah this is a really lovely crop top in this seafoam blue can you tell like seafoam greeny blue color this one i really hope fits me if it doesn't it's going in the store it's remember when these were like all the rage like these I don't know how to describe this material. Rayon, nylon, and spandex. It's one of those skirts that you can tell is gonna go like when, <laughs> when you put it on your body. Look at the circle, like the, the roundness of the hips. I mean, this could potentially be a very, very cute skirt. And it has this little tulipy kind of, is that, what is that called, peplum? I don't know what this is. I'm not very good at that, that kind of description, but I like the bottom. It's got that mermaid style like shape to it and it's in this really pale pink color this potentially could be a really cute skirt i this color was attracting my eye all day so i thought all right well if you're really into a good old-fashioned kelly green today hopefully you'll find something in kelly green so i kept my fingers crossed that i would see something in this color because i kept grabbing stuff that was just like an apron or something just not in my style too small too big I found a Liz Claiborne turtleneck in this lovely Kelly green I'm really into turtlenecks so I just think they look so good paired underneath dresses um, or yeah however you want to style it but it's a Liz Claiborne just turtleneck sweater this I had to grab because honestly anytime I see these types of jean dresses I just have to I have to grab them I don't know it, whether it's my size or not I just have like a soft spot for these dresses. They make me think of gardening and I really want to do a lot of gardening this year, but I want to do it in a way where I'm excited about what I'm wearing. Is that weird? If this fits me, I'm going to be so happy, but I kind of feel like it might not. And if it doesn't, it's going in the store. This was at the Goodwill for $13. That's really expensive. So <laughs> I got it for a dollar probably. Like everything is like not even like 75 cents maybe just because the bins are by weight so whatever this weighs this is a black lace simple cover shirt but i just i love lace anything with a lace material to it i love i sometimes like to think about how i'm going to upcycle it or use it just as the material um yeah this is actually really nice this one was a wild card <laughs> like big time oh it just came undone look at this so it goes around and it has the tie, I just, it came loose. It's a very Morticia lace, full body, like slim fitting dress, like maxi dress. This, <laughs> meow. It looks like it has so much forgiveness in the stretching that I thought this would be really neat. I'm always looking for things to put underneath other articles of clothing to make it different because I don't repeat outfits. I never ever have I mean, basics, like jeans and a bodysuit, I'll wear that a few times, but I'm just saying like when it comes to an outfit, putting an outfit together, there's fuzz in the air and it's like getting in my eye. This is a new day and it's just a really, really, really long black cardigan. I don't have one of this length and they are staples when I'm hanging out in the house. All right, two things left. We have another Henley, but this is like a Henley dress. I really hope this fits me because this is my kind of thing. If it doesn't, it's going in the store. But a kind of mint sage green Henley, very fitted. I mean, I can usually tell just when I try to put it on my arm how it's going to work. It looks like it might be off shoulder. Doesn't that look a little bit like, huh? And the final thing, Abercrombie and Fitch, you guys. I haven't bought anything or even gone into an Abercrombie in a very, very long time. This is in an XL, so it's a little bit oversized. But what a lovely sweater. Am I right? I mean, this thing is so big and long. I feel like I could wear it even just over the leggings that I have on right now and some chunky boots. Like it looks like it'll be almost sweater dress, dress length. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to see more thrifty, fun, creative weirdness from me. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.